hello everyone thanks for joining me again you're welcome back to the channel in this video what we're going to look at is how you can use an nfs server as your uh, location for storing web uh, pages that's your web do uh, your do the documents that you serve to clients on your web server uh, typically you would have this on the server itself but there are situations where you're probably um, out of storage local storage on the web server and you need to get um, the documents from a shared network file system for this i've got a topology we're going to use that's what you're seeing on the screen just now uh, that's a web server an nfs server and uh, a client which is uh, essentially just my browser here for us to test these are vms that i have set up uh, linux uh, machines that i've set up for us to walk through together if you're new to the channel please consider so subscribing and turn on the notification for uh, similar content let's dive in let's start with the web server uh, so essentially this this is going to be the web server and this is the nfs server so uh, let me minimize this on the web server we need to make sure we've got uh http install installed so systemctl status httpd that's not there so we can just quickly install that so dnf install httpd you can use yum uh, but dnf is gradually replacing yum for um rel based systems so dnf install httpd uh, that's why I just say yes uh, just we can have so now if you do http http uh, system ctl status httpd you can see it's there but it's not uh, enabled so we can enable that by saying system ctl uh, let's start it first system ctl start httpd um, yes then enable it just so it can come up uh, at startup system ctl enable httpd enter now if we check with system ctl status httpd we should see it enabled okay great so now we've got a server uh, a web server running uh, ideally the files should be here in cd var dub, 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 um, yeah html uh, cgi bin that's where would have our files uh, stored but we can test to see that this server we just installed is there so bring up the browser and uh, just go to this address i've got i have the host name for this server so it's server one in scenarios where you do not have the host name you would obviously have the ip address of the server but then it's easier to work with the host name so host name so this is my uh machine essentially and these are vms that are running so they are on the same uh, network basically so uh that's the ip uh, that's the host name so I'm trying to get to this server we just created. You see it says can't be rich. So let's start the uh, troubleshooting or the configuration if you like. First, we we already have HTTP running, system CTL uh, status, HTTPD. It's enabled and it's there, it's installed, it's running. Which, first thing we should check in terms of making sure we have access to the web page is firewall so firewall cmd we can list all the services just to check you can see here nfs ssh just the services i've got uh, let's add 
httpd to this so http firewall cmd uh, we want to permanently add permanently add uh, a service which is http so uh, to make this uh, to, to, to enable this we need to reload firewall cmd okay so firewall cmd now we can check firewall cmd um list all right http is there we should be able to access this server now hit enter let's see what happens so server one yep that's it cool so now we have http server running so this is uh this 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 is running on the on a vm that's on my uh, macbook so and this uh, browser essentially is well from from the host machine so yeah so fine uh this is this is the ideal scenario this is a typical situation where you have http uh, your server running this page can be anything so but this is a test page what we're trying to achieve here now is to have the content this content you're seeing currently you're getting we're getting the content from here so this is us trying to get the content from here but we should be able to um, use uh, nfs server to an nfs mount mount a directory on this server an NF, um, a directory that has been shared here so we mount it here so that the web pages uh, the web page can be served from that location thing so to see the nfs uh, the, the file systems that we have on this system, you can use the df-h command so yeah this is going to show you the this the uh, the locations you have you can see the last one here is an ip address these are like the local drives the system my the vm has but this last one you see it's an ip address that's an nfs share 192.168.64.14 that's the ip address of this server of the nfs server actually let's just if config you can see so that's to tell you that this uh, this um uh, uh web browser uh, this web web server is mounting this drive that uh, this look it's mounting this drive on uh, this that's this location so what what do i mean by that um uh, if we go to here let me just even copy this uh command c if i copy this if we go to mnt slash web and ls right this is not an ls here this 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 directory uh, this is actually my my personal um web page from github uh, nfs web mount yes um so if i cd to this directory P pwd let's copy this directory so this is the, the new location that is going to re replace var www uh, dot the the default location anyway so now since we've copied that we can vim um, etsy httpd conf httpd.conf yes and i to insert you can use any text editor you're comfortable with so i just chose uh, uh vim but it doesn't matter what text editor you use so let's look for document root first so directory you can see this directory uh first but i i will get to that but all of these directories var, dub, dub, dub. let's go up, up, up yeah document root so we are saying um our web server should um where is it our web server 
what have I done? The directory. Okay, no, 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 no. Our web server should use this location. Okay. Um, I need to go back. Okay, just quit this without saving. Oh, I need to force it. So Q force quit without saving. PWD. This the, the location. Mm, copy this and let's go to give okay, him we want to edit this insert so in document root yeah i want to paste this so we're saying use this as your um default uh, directory to get to serve web pages when users visit this server same thing here we need to update we need to change the directory here which is going to see it as dog 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 as well uh directory var we don't we don't want it to use var um, the default var so we want it to use the file from the directory from nfs um what else where well, let's see let's just scroll down if there are if there is any directory that will that will use that location we should change it and have it go to uh to go to our nfs nfs mount okay uh which what what else okay we have one here so i want to use this directory okay uh, I think that's that's it. That's that's it. Um, we have we have everything now in this file. So right and quit. So now, um, you HTTP uh, D is running, but we have changed the default location where it serves web pages from. So it's now an NFS mount. Uh, what we can do uh, to test this is to where's the browser so what we can do is to try but first before we try that we should check to see what's the um, uh, if, if there are any alerts you know from SE uh, Linux so um, we can use the SE alert se alert um, command so dash a we are trying to um, check if there is any so usually the, the audit.log file is where all the alerts are kept so you see zero alerts found so it means no one is trying to um, access anything they shouldn't so because we've not tried we've not tried doing that if you do not have se alert or se manage installed on your system you can install that with uh, that if it doesn't show it means you need the policy core policy core um, policy core utils yes policy core utils dash utils i already have that installed so policy call utils um, dash python dash utils if I say dash Y, assuming I don't have it, but I, I already have it. So just saying, if just in case you're following and you try SE alert and it doesn't, uh, SE alert, SE manage all come in the policy core utils, Python utils um, package. Okay, so we have now um, updated document route. So let's try, where's the browser? Let's try accessing our server usually like we would do. So let's see, you can see. Okay. Now, um, this is this is not the page we we are uh, looking for, but I did this just so we can check, right? Just, just so we can check if there's any new alerts uh in audit.log 
zero alert form okay so let's see let's see let's see if uh, oh um let's i should let's restart httpd yeah httpd system ctl because we updated the the document route. so system ctl restart httpd what system oh system ctl yeah restart httpd uh hit enter okay we've restarted httpd and httpd is running so we're trying to get access to um the the server uh, with the, the web browser so uh yeah the server from our web browser obviously so now we can say we can do se alert check the logs and see what happens now you can see we've got information um what do we have it's long but i'll just take you straight to the important bits what you should be looking at uh, should be looking for so where did we run our command um yep from here so you can see this what this is the command this this just us saying hey se linux do you have anything is there any alert is there is there someone trying to gain access to you know uh files they shouldn't they don't have access to so it it, it found one so one alert in uh, varlog the location we look we, we're looking for What's the details of that? SC Linux is preventing uh, user that uh, has been HTTPD from getting access to this uh, file, this NFS mount, this directory. You see, it's going, it's trying to go directly to my to my homepage, but it doesn't have access, right? So um, this is quite self-explanatory in a way because it's it's actually saying if you want to allow httpd to use nfs yeah that's what we want to do right then you must well tell s linux about so what do we do this is set se yeah linux set uh, se boolean we are trying to set it's either zero to turn it off or one to turn it on so we're trying to do that so set this the command i can type it but well why not just copy since it's there so we're trying to if it, it's saying if we want to allow it we should set this to one to allow so um just set uh, se a boolean to uh one for this context so httpd use nfs we are saying we are telling from where's where's that topology this se linux um we are saying please allow this server to mount nfs to serve its pages from this nfs uh, server essentially hit enter where are we okay hit enter okay that didn't come uh, with any errors so now fingers crossed we should be able to uh, see the web page that is being served from that directory uh, okay yep that's it so this is um uh this actually my my personal uh website essentially but i have the files on this vm just now so just so i can demonstrate and 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 that's it actually uh but just one more thing one bonus i would say is um if you after a reboot if you're trying to make this uh like a permanent thing right so you can use the uh se so we can do se se manage right so what are we trying to remember we we did set a uh, we did set boolean on the other we, we did set the boolean with uh, set se bool right so we're saying se manage uh, boolean to make this permanent we're trying to turn this on right and what do we want to modify it's going to be on even after a reboot that's httpd 
use NFS. Uh, remember that's what, just so we, if I scroll up a bit, that's what SE Linux, uh, HCP, yeah, use NFS one and which same thing here. But we're just saying, make this uh, persist a reboot and that's it. Um, yeah, I think that's that's basically it. So we've got a web server and uh, an NFS server. The web server is mounting this drive. So, and it's serving, and we've changed the default location where, and the result is rather than have um, the default web page, it's going to be anything that you, you know, that you put, that any content that you, you, you want to serve. Uh, I would like to thank you for watching this. I appreciate that this is um, a bit long in a way, but uh, at least we've been able to achieve all the objectives. So uh, being able to serve web pages from NFS, NFS mount actually. Um, thank you once again. If you're new to the channel, please, please do subscribe, turn on your notification uh, if you're interested in similar content. And if you have any question at all, if there's any step that is confusing, make sure to drop a comment. I would respond and try to answer all your questions.